Module 4, Database Management and Security Best Practices for Data Management Effective data management is crucial for organizations to ensure data accuracy, integrity, security, and usability. Here are some best practices for data management. 1. Data Governance Establish a robust data governance framework that includes policies, procedures, and standards for managing data across the organization. Define data ownership, roles, and responsibilities, and ensure that data management practices align with organizational goals and regulatory requirements. 2. Data Quality Management Implement data quality management practices to ensure that data is accurate, complete, consistent, and reliable. Define data quality standards, perform data profiling, data cleansing, and data validation, and establish data quality monitoring processes to identify and correct data quality issues. 3. Data security. Protect data from unauthorized access, use, disclosure, and modification. Implement appropriate security measures such as authentication, authorization, encryption, and auditing to safeguard sensitive data. Follow industry best practices and comply with relevant data privacy and security regulations. 4. Data Integration Establish data integration processes to ensure that data is integrated from various sources in a consistent and efficient manner. Use data integration tools and techniques to cleanse, transform, and load data into the target systems and validate data during the integration process. 5. Data Storage and Retrieval Choose appropriate data storage technologies and architectures that align with the organization's data management requirements. Implement data backup and disaster recovery plans to ensure data availability and business continuity. Optimize data storage and retrieval performance for efficient data access. 6. Data lifecycle management. Define data retention policies, data archiving, and data deletion practices to manage data throughout its lifecycle. Dispose of data that is no longer required, and ensure that data is retained and archived in compliance with legal, regulatory, and business requirements. 7. Data documentation and metadata management. Maintain comprehensive documentation of data definitions, data lineage, data flows, data models, and other metadata to ensure that data is understood and used correctly. Implement metadata management practices to capture, store, and retrieve metadata for efficient data management. 8. Data analytics and reporting. Use data analytics and reporting tools to gain insights from data and support decision-making processes. Implement data visualization techniques to communicate data insights effectively to stakeholders. Ensure that data used for analytics and reporting is accurate, complete, and reliable. 9. Data privacy and compliance. Comply with relevant data privacy and compliance regulations, such as GDPR, HIPAA, and CCPA. Ensure that data is handled in compliance with legal, regulatory, and industry requirements related to data privacy, security, and protection. 10. Data Training and Awareness Provide training and education to data users and stakeholders to raise awareness about data management best practices, data quality, data security, and data privacy. Foster a data-driven culture within the organization, where data is recognized as a strategic asset and managed accordingly. Implementing these best practices for data management can help organizations ensure that their data is accurate, reliable, secure, and compliant, enabling them to make informed decisions and achieve their business goals. Backup and Recovery Techniques Backup and recovery are essential components of data management and data protection strategies. They involve creating copies of data and storing them in a separate location, so that data can be restored in case of data loss, accidental deletion, hardware failure, or other incidents. Here are some commonly used backup and recovery techniques. 1. Full backup. A full backup is a complete copy of all data in a system or database. It is the most straightforward and time-consuming backup method, as it requires copying all data but it provides the most comprehensive backup of all data. In case of data loss, the full backup can be used to restore the entire system or database to its original state. 2. Incremental Backup An incremental backup captures only the changes made to data since the last full or incremental backup. It backs up only the data that has changed, 
which reduces the time and storage space required for backups compared to full backups. However, multiple backups may be needed to restore the entire system or database, as incremental backups rely on previous backups to reconstruct the complete data set. 3. Differential Backup A differential backup captures only the changes made to data since the last full backup. It backs up all changes made since the last full backup, regardless of whether they were included in previous differential backups or not. Differential backups require less storage space than full backups, but more than incremental backups, and they may require fewer backups to restore the entire system or database compared to incremental backups. 4. Snapshot Backup A snapshot backup captures the state of a system or database at a particular point in time. It creates a point-in-time copy of the data, which can be used for recovery purposes. Snapshot backups are typically used in virtualized environments, where they capture the state of virtual machines or storage volumes. They allow for fast and efficient backups, as only the changes made after the snapshot are captured. 5. Cloud Backup Cloud backup involves storing data backups in a remote cloud-based storage service. It provides off-site storage, which protects against data loss due to on-site disasters or hardware failures. Cloud backup can be used in combination with other backup methods, such as full, incremental, or differential backups, and it provides scalability, cost-effectiveness, and ease of data recovery. 6. Replication Replication involves creating and maintaining multiple copies of data in real-time or near-real-time in different locations. It is often used for high availability and disaster recovery purposes, where data is replicated to a separate location for immediate failover in case of data loss or system failure. Replication can be synchronous or asynchronous, depending on the level of data consistency and performance requirements. 7. Backup Encryption Backup encryption involves encrypting data backups to protect them from unauthorized access or data breaches. It ensures that data is securely stored and can only be accessed with the appropriate decryption keys. Backup encryption is a critical security measure to protect sensitive data in case of data loss or theft. 8. Testing and verification Regular testing and verification of backups are crucial to ensure that backups are valid and can be successfully restored when needed. Backups should be periodically tested to ensure their integrity, completeness, and recoverability. Testing and verification help identify and resolve any issues with backups proactively, reducing the risk of data loss during recovery. 9. Retention Policies Retention policies define how long backups are retained and when they are deleted or archived. Retention policies should be based on business and regulatory requirements, and they should be strictly followed to ensure that backups are retained for the required period and deleted or archived as per the defined policies. 10. Documentation Proper documentation of backup and recovery processes, procedures, and configurations is essential for effective backup and recovery operations. Documentation should include backup schedules, backup locations, backup types, recovery procedures, contact information for relevant personnel, and other relevant information. Thanks for watching. For more information like comment and subscribe our channel.